one nice advantage of the smaller reaction vessels, the 24 and the 48, is a tray like this full of 24 reaction vessels can go directly into a parallel evaporator. And uh, this is very efficient because now you don't have to move tubes around. Uh, however, the 12 and the 6, the tubes are a little too high for putting these directly in. Uh, the carriers aren't usually designed to hold such a big tube, but you can easily pick them up and stick them into the carriers mm -hmm. you need to do. Right. So There's fewer completely of them to worry about. Completely compatible with the so are these, are these standard uh, tubes? Uh, no, these tubes are actually hand cut to have an exact height tolerance, and the tolerance is needed to seal properly against the manifold. For things like inerting, you want to make sure you get this, you get as, as good a seal as you possibly can. Right, okay, so if I just had some test tubes lying around in the lab, that wouldn't um, work in this case. The variability would be too great. Right, and then I wouldn't get the seal and you I wouldn't have the, the isolation. Okay. That's correct. Okay.